Welcome back to the 25 days of Whiskey Christmas. This is day four, December 4th. Won't you come join me? Today's choice for day four of 25 days of Whiskey Christmas is comical to me. It's comical to me for a couple reasons. First one is, this is a relatively inexpensive bottle. Uh, it was on shelves everywhere until about a year to two years ago. And then it got so hard to find. It was like it was allocated or something. It, for good measure, it's good. But it's crazy what pop culture does to things, even in the bourbon industry. So that's the first reason it's comical. The second reason is <laughs> it was so hard to find that I asked my buddy. Uh, I found out that it was at a store close to him. And I said, hey, can you run over and buy me this bottle? He got there. They had it. But they didn't have the regular size 750 milliliter bottle. He's like, all they have is the big bottle. Do you mind? I was like, no, that's fine. And then he then he gave it to me. I have big hands. Look how big that bottle is. That's ginormous. It's so it I can't I can't. It's so big. It's so big. It's like sheesh. So yeah. Today's bottle for December 4th of 25 Days of Whiskey Christmas is Buffalo Trace, or as some people call it, Buffalo Trace. Buffalo Trace is our first bottle for the 25 Days of Whiskey Christmas that's from the Sazerac Company. Um, there'll be a number of them in here. Uh, uh, my random number generator uh, picked, I think there's four or five even. Um, this is the first one and probably the most famous. Uh, a couple others that they make, they make the Weller line. They make the BTAC, which is Buffalo Trace Antique Collection. Uh, those come out once a year and are highly sought after. Uh, also make Blanton's. Uh, a lot of people have heard of that, uh, and they also make, uh, what's the other one they make? Benchmark, it's kind of a cheaper line. So it's the first one from Sazerac that we're going to have during Whiskey Christmas. Um, let's go right into the nose. This is the first one maybe that's had some citrus, maybe? It's interesting. Um, definitely some, definitely some, some sweetness. Uh, Buffalo Trace uses a what's called a weeded mash bill. They don't release the mash bill, which we'll talk about in a second. But they add wheat. Where you've heard a lot of these other ones be corn, which is always the primary, rye, malted bar malted barley, uh, but Buffalo Trace adds wheat, and so it becomes what's called a weeded recipe or a weeded mash bill. And this one definitely has that. It creates a sweetness that you don't get uh, as much otherwise. Very much a caramel, butterscotch, hot fudge, kind of a... It's kind of the smell you get when you put toppings on ice cream, like an ice cream sundae. That's kind of what you're getting. So also, strangely, uh, a little bit of mint, maybe? Some, I'm totally getting some mint. That's interesting. Uh, this is probably the first one that I can say that is also, well, no. I was going to say it might be oak, but I think it's, I think it's that mint contrasting with the sweetness. Uh, yeah. It's the sweetest one of all the four that we've done so far. So that's, that's uh, probably lends itself to that weeded. Uh, let's go in for our first taste. The sweetness carries over for sure. Um, <clears throat> 
heard people say that this is what bourbon is supposed to taste like. And Buffalo Trace has done a good job. I am sometimes reluctant as a Gen Xer as I am to like things that everybody else likes. And so this ginormous bottle of Buffalo Trace was literally the first bottle of Buffalo Trace I've ever owned. Um, largely because I didn't want to do the thing that everybody else was doing. I like to buck the trends and, you know, fight the fads. But this is good. This is, I'm not upset about this. This is, uh, it's very sweet, which lends itself to the weeded. Yeah. Sorry for the lip smacking. That's kind of what happens. It is a thinner, a thinner viscosity. It doesn't, doesn't hang on the glass. Doesn't have any, a lot, a lot of fingers, but, um, the finish is just there and done. There is no, doesn't linger at all. Um, which isn't a bad thing. Doesn't always have to. Um, this is a great, I'd say this is a great beginner bourbon. This is, there's nothing wrong with this, um, to have. Let's read about it a little bit. Um, it is a straight bourbon. Uh, it's distilled and bottled by Buffalo Trace, uh, which is owned by Sazerac, which we mentioned. It comes in at 90 proof. Um, it does not have an age statement. They never release an age statement, but it is rumored to be 8 to 10. Some of the higher experts that I trust say it comes in about 9.5, they think. So, you know, a 9.5, almost 10-year-old bourbon, nothing to sneeze at. Um, again, undisclosed mash bill. And the MSRP, we mentioned earlier that this is pretty cheap. Uh, this is, uh, between 24 to $28 for the regular 750 milliliter size. Um, it might be creeping up towards 30, uh, be, you know, by the time that I'm recording this, but, uh, it's, a uh, yeah, still that same sweetness didn't change with another drink. Um, where's this rank? This falls solidly, and I could drink this every single day. Um, this would also be really good in a mixer. Uh, sometimes I downplay the mixer thing uh, because, you know, you only want to throw mixer stuff in that's garbage whiskey. I, I guess I, maybe I think that way, but this would, it's probably unfair to use that analogy. Um, this would be great in a mixer. This would add a lot of flavor. Uh, mixers are often sweet, so this would just add right to it. Uh, but absolutely a daily drinker. Um, I'd share it, sure. Uh, but I think everybody's had it by this point. So not really a share bottle and definitely not a reserve for royalty because everybody's had it. So so that's it for the review. Uh, day four, December 4th, 25 days of whiskey Christmas. Buffalo Trace. It's a good one. Uh, this, is a, this is a daily drinker and uh, throw it in some mixers. Merry Christmas.